What's up neighbors, welcome back to The Jet Next Door. This week's video marks the start of a new Autumn Essentials series where each week I'll be featuring a particular item which you can add to your wardrobe to upgrade your style this autumn. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to the video. From a style point of view, autumn is actually my favorite season of the year. Uh, the temperature drops, but not to the extent where you need a big winter coat which conceals your outfit. So autumn actually gives you the chance to utilize a lot of your wardrobe and show it off without covering it up uh, because it's too cold or getting rid of the layers because it's too hot like in summer. So today we're talking about the final layer of your autumn look but please stick around to the end though because I've got an expert tip on one thing that always confuses people on this particular item of clothing. So in this series of videos I'll be going through some of the best jackets that you can wear for autumn weather. Now the jacket is really the biggest statement that you can make with your outfit. It gives people a strong snapshot of the kind of guy that you are and it really is an opportunity to make a statement with your outfit. On my channel I like to talk about items of clothing that transcend trends. Not that I'm against trends but I just believe it's the best way to build a solid strong stylish wardrobe. So each video in this series will focus on a timeless jacket. We'll look into the backstory of the jacket, its uh, features and benefits and also how you can actually style the jacket. So the first jacket we're focusing on is called the Harrington. So let's talk about the origins, where it comes from, how it all started. So having a base knowledge of menswear gives us a little bit of context as to why that item of clothing is timeless. It also helps you improve your styling because you can use some of the sort of nostalgic style references in the way you're, where you're wearing the outfit and it gives your outfit a little bit more charm and depth to it as well. Like a lot of menswear, the Harrington jacket was first made in England but became famous in America. It dates back to 1937. It was first constructed by factory owners John and Isaac Miller, who were from Manchester in the northwest of England. It was called the G9 and it became iconic under the Barracuda Bonica, also known as the Barracuda jacket, which is technically incorrect. It's Barracuda. So that's a bit about the background of the jacket and where it came from. So let's talk about how you would wear and style the jacket. First up, of course, because it's autumn, layering. So a Harrington jacket with its lightweight construction and fabrics is actually suitable for transitional weather. So it's not only a jacket that you can bring out in autumn, you can actually wear it in spring as well. It's perfect for layering up with a t-shirt, a polo shirt, a sweater or jumper and even a smart shirt as well. So it's very very versatile when it comes to layering up. It's also great for business because if you wear a shirt and tie underneath the jacket it won't look out of place uh, at work if you have a smart casual dress policy the Harrington is the perfect jacket for that interchangeable weather and you'll still look smart but it's still relaxed and casual it's brilliant so recently designers have been playing around with Harrington's and have come up with more technically advanced designs these can be partnered up with cargo trousers or corduroys they can be worn with boots and heavy shirts giving you that sort of workwear utility look which also can be a crossover if you're somebody who likes to wear streetwear this is actually a good way to kind of juxtapose the two styles. You can also do preppy with uh, a Harrington. It's a more grown up alternative to say a varsity jacket for example. So you can partner it over a smart shirt, some chinos and some nice penny loafers to give you that, that Ivy League look. A Harrington is always in neutral colors. So that's maybe a beige, a black, a blue. But it also comes in geometric prints, florals, and vibrant colors, uh, making it a great choice as a personality or statement piece. Just make sure with all statement pieces that you balance it out and partner it with neutral colors. It's also perfect for casual styling. So it works great over some nice pair of jeans and a simple t-shirt uh, with some trainers or some boots. So for this time of year, for casual occasions, Harrington's a perfect companion for those casual occasions. I said at the beginning of the video that you should stick around to the end, so well done for doing that because I have a special expert tip. And that's because people confuse a Harrington with the bomber jacket. There are some subtle differences to help you distinguish between the two jackets. So a Harrington has a stand-up collar, normally with a little button to fasten it. A bomber jacket simply does not have a collar. Harrington has slanted 
flap front pockets. Bomber jacket has pockets that are very square and almost invisible. And finally, traditionally, bomber jackets tend to be in leather and Harrington's come in nylon or lightweight products. Obviously, there's a caveat to that because now bomber jackets come in all sorts of lightweight fabrics as well, but that's one of the traditional differences between the two. So guys, that concludes the first video in our new series of Autumn Essentials. As I said, this month, we're focusing on jackets. Next week, I'll be giving you the next jacket that you could be adding to your wardrobe this season. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, once again, please like and subscribe to the video. It really helps the channel grow. Share this with a friend who's looking to upgrade their style this autumn. Once again, guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.